Good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma. Make sure you stick around and subscribe for hauls and vlogs and all sorts of things. Today I am off to Home Sense to go and check out the Halloween stuff. Come along and do a little come shop with me. I've got my mask, I've got my hand sanitizer. Have a little look what's in store. The dog's obviously thrilled. She's walking around. And then uh, when I get back, I will show you any bits and pieces that I have picked up. I'm on the hunt for a new like hot chocolate stand, so I'll keep my eyes peeled for that. So come along with me now. As soon as we entered Home Sense, we saw some lovely little glassware. They had wine glasses, they had some plates, they had some little tumblers. They also had some really super cute salt and pepper shakers that my boy absolutely loved. They have a pumpkin one and a black cat one, and they also had some great black plates. Now, I love, love, love the skinny syrups. They had loads of different flavours and these are great to get in and you can keep them all up until Christmas time. They last ages. We don't really drink coffee at home but I love to put a shot in a hot chocolate. The kids like to have it as well. Sometimes they might have it in a warm milk. They're really good. Calorie free. They had some really, really fun doorstops. One of my Nomi's, you know I love a Nomi. And there was a bat and a pumpkin and these will look great in the house. Really love them. They're about £10. I was a bit disappointed with our local home sense, which is in Merry Hill, as they didn't really have too many kind of Halloween candles in. We found a couple of apple ones, there was some vanilla ones, there wasn't the kind of range they usually have, but maybe these will come at a later date. Definitely let me know in the comments if they had some in your home sense or your TK Maxx. I've had a little look online and I've been ordering some from Yankee Candle and Amazon. Now we hit the actual Halloween stuff. They had a lot of schools in. I tend to kind of stay away from the schools because my kids are still quite little. They're not huge fans of these schools, but they had lots of different weird and wonderful ones in. This is more my vibe. I love these velvet pumpkins. I will say the range wasn't as big as usual. I'm not sure if that's due to the pandemic. I'm not sure if it's just due due to the store but I'll definitely pop in again and hooray they had some gnomes you know I love my little Halloween gnomes look at them little polka dot tights so cute they also had some great pumpkins in as well as some Halloween wreaths now I'm not sure I've ever had a Halloween wreath do I need to get some they had some skeleton dogs which is very strange I'm not sure if you can hear my dog in the background pootling around Again, lots of schools, schools with sunglasses on, schools doing yoga, loads and loads. And I just find them really, really, really funny, but just not for us this year, maybe when the kids are a little bit older. They also had some really great autumn and fall stuff in if Halloween isn't your cup of tea. So they had foxes, they had autumnal leaves, acorns. A metallic pumpkins, little mushrooms, a squirrel with a crown of course, what else could you need? And then we came to the section that I know that my children would really enjoy, which is just like fun monsters. My little boy loved that purple monster. They had a tiny little village which I was really tempted by, but I have seen on Amazon and online the Christmas villages I usually get, if you follow me, they're doing Halloween villages. So I'm going to check those out. They had some great little cookie jars and sweets jars, which will just look amazing in a kitchen. Some really cute little ghosties and cats. Some really, really nice stuff. Everything was kind of around from around £5 to £10. Uh, you can't beat a moustached pumpkin. Uh, again, we've got those yoga skeletons. I really like that huge cauldron and some more little Halloween gnomies. It was really, really fun looking around. I will hopefully see some more stuff at some point. And also, it's always really good to pop into Home Sense and TK Maxx just before Halloween, as things do tend to be reduced. And I've picked up stuff before that I will then keep for the next year. I really liked those stripy boo pumpkins. They had loads of different outfits on. Ethan was really enamored by this like a dragon dinosaur outfit. And of course, we've got the classic pumpkin. There were some werewolves and some pirates and all sorts of things. And of course, we had some really super lovely, fancy witchy dresses and mummies. So a great range, a bit short on the ground, but great nonetheless. Hey guys, 
I hope you like that little mooch around with me. Um, we can't, obviously you can't pick stuff up at the moment, so I kind of just showed you what was on offer. Um, the home sense I went to was the one in Merry Hill. I'd say there was probably about, um, maybe like three little aisles of them. I didn't see any mugs, I didn't see any tea towels. I don't know if they're coming a bit later. I will keep my eyes peeled. I know they have stuff on the TK Max website, like halloween -y stuff, so maybe check that out. So I'll just show you some of the little bits and pieces I got. I didn't get stacks of stuff because I actually have um, three or four big boxes of the Halloween stuff that I've collected over the years. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do like a house tour or like a come decorate with me. I've got loads and loads of old home scents, pumpkins, bits and bobs I've picked up here and there. And if I get anything else, I will show you my vlogs. Uh, I do a weekly vlog each week. I will probably have a little mooch around Poundland near the time and maybe home bargains. So I'll just show you what I got. Now the first two things I will show you are not Halloween-y, but I got them. I've always wanted a Rose Quartz Beauty Roller. I don't know why. I like the idea of keeping it next to my bed and rubbing it on my face to make me look beautiful. That's what I want to do. And that is my plan. This is £10. You can put it in the refrigerator. And you can use moisturiser on it. But I will let you know what that's like. I might have a bath later and uh, use that. The other thing I bought, if you are... Um, if you've been at my channel for a while, you know that I am having a love affair with plants at the moment. And we've got lots and lots. So I also really like wicker stuff. So I bought this like plant holder thing so i could put a plant there that, that's one that's like dragging down and another plant there and i thought that would look really nice in my bedroom so i was really really pleased with that that's why i love tk max and home sense because you get the odd piece that you you don't see anywhere else and if you don't get it if you don't get it when you see it it'll be gone so you have to get it when you see it so let's move on to the autumny halloween bits i got I've always really loved these skinny syrups and we use them a lot. We will use them throughout autumn or fall if you're from America, throughout Halloween, all up until we stop having hot chocolates. So I got two flavours. I got a salted caramel and it's naught calories, naught sugar. I usually just put these in with a hot chocolate. The hot chocolate I like is Highlights. You can get that, in. you can get them anywhere, but I tend to get from Home Bargains or you can get them in B&M. So salty caramel. Not calories, not sugar. What's it made of? The children are playing in the other room. If you hear a little bit of screeching, and then I've never had this. Uh, now nah, this is even, this is not calories, not sugar, not carbs. It just says not all the way down. To me, scientific. Let me know what's in it. It can't be good. Uh, so this is cookie dough. So I thought that'd be really nice as well in a hot chocolate, a little shot. Uh, if any of you know, can you tell me where you get like the pump things? Uh, I might have a little look on Amazon later and I'll let you know on my stories because that's so much easier to have the pumps. You can just quite pump it in. You know, I like to do a hot chocolate station so I'll do one of those at some point. I really wanted to get a new tier tray and they didn't, they didn't have much. Um, the, there wasn't actually like loads of stock in there but I don't know if that's because of social distancing they're trying to keep they don't want as much stuff in the shop maybe. Uh, Ethan saw this and was like, yes. So we've got a little pumpkin door stop, which will go here. We always keep this door open because this is where Lucy sleeps. Lucy, are you there? Can you see her? She's just there. So we keep this door open, so we'll put him. Let me know in the comments what I should name him. This is a purchase that I probably would have not opted for. But when Ethan saw it, he was like, we have to get it. So I will show you. This is from the Make Boston Warehouse, and I think it was £4. And it's a salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> and it's a little ghost doggy with a pumpkin. And it's a little, um, a little skeleton Lucy. So he really liked those. And I was like, I don't even really, we don't even really use salt and pepper. We use pepper, we don't really use salt in the house. And my friend said, well, you could put um, chocolate in the top. So you can put it on top of your uh, hot chocolate. What a good idea is that? So 
that'll be cute. We'll put them in there. We'll put them in the kitchen somewhere. And then also, oh, I'm just noticing this is a bit, it's been a bit bashed in the car actually. Uh, my kitchen is white. Do we look like twins? There's, oh my, I've nearly dislocated my jaw. My kitchen is white and grey and I thought this would look really cool in my kitchen. I have lots of old Ray Dunn black and white Halloween stuff so this will go really nicely and I'm going to fill him with Lind chocolate that I got. I got some salted caramel ones and some mint ones and I'm going to have them all full up with sweets. So I thought that was, I really liked him. That's like my big Halloween purchase. He was a tenner and I thought he'd look really, really cool in the kitchen. Again, near the hot chocolate station or just somewhere nice to put little treats. And I just thought he was a, a very little cheery chappy. So that's it really. I didn't pick up anything else. There was lots of school stuff in. There was lots of Day of the Dead stuff in. There were um, some Halloween gnomes. And you know I love the Halloween gnomes or gnomies as I call them. But I do have some so there's no point me doubling my Halloween gnomies. I know it's gnomes, but I call it gnomies because that's what my nan used to call them. That's all I've got at the moment. I'll let you know if I got it, get anything else. Um, I love it when you tag me in your stories when you find Halloween stuff. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you tag me if you see any Halloween mugs. Make sure you tag me if you see any Halloween towels or anything like that. Keep your eyes peeled because I might be bringing a Halloween mug back keep your eyes peeled thanks if you took part in the vote on the community tab um, of what kind of halloween mug you would like most and yeah the spooky season is upon us i'm absolutely thrilled about it and i can't wait to do more autumn and halloween stuff for you i love you lots and i will see you in a few days for another upload have a wonderful day guys bye